Okay, I'm, I'm going to pop up here in the corner. Let me reduce the picture here a little bit. I'm going to be getting a phone call in about seven minutes. So I'm going to have to kind of rush this a little bit. Um, I, all of a sudden, I realize I'm writing a darn uh, textbook here, and that's not the the, the tenor the, or the, the flavor of the course that we want to do here. Um, if you're hearing a bunch of noise, that's the sound of the engineering department, which my 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 our small but mighty little physics department is in the is underneath the, the engineering department and, and they are adding on. They're building a whole new wing and guess what? It's right against my wall um, for the most part. And so lots of jackhammering and things like that going on, but we'll be okay. So, but let's talk about this, this kinetic friction. This is when things are actually moving, okay? When things are actually moving. So what's a good example of that? Um, let's see. What's this over here? Yeah. So when I'm sliding this along, this is kinetic friction, my little uh, ball here, which is probably driving you nuts because I'm going back and forth here. That ball's rolling, or I can slide these staples around. Um, that's kinetic friction because they're sliding along there. Okay. Now, let's get in. Now, I'm going to take, take my mug off the screen here. Um, and let's talk about what these are. This is the force. It's a force. It's in Newton's. Okay, and we've talked about Newton's force. This, this little mu of k thing here, that is called the coefficient. That is called the coefficient of kinetic friction. All right? And this is called the normal force. So these are some ideas that you don't know about yet. All right? And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my ladybug, and we'll talk about those real quickly here. Um, and then I will make a new movie of this and, and, and also add these sheets to it. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and expand this. And let's make it so that you can see it better. So we'll do this. All right, so here we are. Kinetic friction. Here's the equations for uh, kinetic friction. All right, F of K. It looks like this. So that's a force in Newtons. is equal to mu of K. Okay, it's equal to mu of k, which is, this guy is called the coefficient of kinetic friction for between those two objects. Now, there's a lot of engineers, a lot of physicists, a lot of chemists that have done a lot of work. Um, like, there, there's different, there's different, each item has a different coefficient of friction. In other words, uh, Teflon with um, a Teflon to Teflon type uh, interaction or, or um, ice to um, a, a shoe has a different, you know, to a leather shoe or, or um, snow to a ski has a different. And we're going to look at, we're going to look at the coefficient of ice to rubber, to a hard rubber thing called a hockey puck. All right. And we've done, we've done sports with, we've done some stuff with hockey pucks before. All right. But anyway, so, so times the normal force. First of all, we've got to define the normal force. I don't think we've talked about that yet, and, and it gets a little bit tricky, but it's not hard. Normal force is pretty straightforward. If I, have, if I have a table, and I think we've looked at this in the very first, one of the very first movies that we did. If I have a table, and I got this um, table, and I put a book on this table. Here's my book. Remember what books were? That looks like a magnet, but there's my book, okay? It's a big dictionary book I've put on this table, and it's got a weight. It's got a mass times gravity. What's the reaction force to that? It is not the normal force. I've done that before. I've, I've, I've actually told students that. It's not the normal force. The reaction force to this is the book is pulling up on the earth <laughs> with the same force, the same force, but the earth don't care. It's so dang big, it doesn't care. All right, so mg, but there's also, but what's keeping the book from smashing into the earth? A normal, the, the table's holding it up, and that's called the normal force, which is the, it's perpendicular to the surface. And I kind of said that earlier in a thing, perpendicular to the surface. Okay. Well, let's say this. Let's say that the mu of k, that the coefficient of static friction, which is just a number between ice and hard rubber, which is the 
hockey puck is equal to uh, 0 0.04. It's a pretty small one. Sometimes the, the coefficient of static friction can be even greater than one. Like if you have rubber, like rubber against wood or things like that. Okay. Mu, mu of k is that. All right. Let's say the mass of the hockey puck is equal to 0.175 kilograms. All right. Now, and let's say it's sliding because it's already moving, so it's sliding at a constant speed. All right. So we've got a frictional force. It, it doesn't even have to be sliding at a constant speed. It's going to slow down, too. Then it's sliding. So what is the frictional force? Well, let's draw the puck. Real quick, and this will be the only thing I'll get done on this movie. So let's draw the puck. Mg going down. Normal force going up. Some of the forces in the y direction are equal to zero. So the normal force minus Mg is equal to zero. So therefore, the normal force is equal to Mg. And I'm not going to put anything on a slant for this class. It's way beyond the scope of this class. I'm not going to put anything on a slant. So we're just going to take, we're going to leave things nice and Flat like that. So let's compute. Let's compute the um, kinetic frictional force that's acting on this puck that's sliding along the ice. Okay. Well, the kinetic frictional force F of k is equal to mu of k times the normal force. And so we've said, all right, well, that'd be 0 0.04 times 0 0.1, 0 0.175 times 9.8. And you would think that a well-prepared professor would have his calculator handy. And I kind of did. I, I, I was actually surprised. I didn't have to go into Fibber McGee's closet. Extra credit to anybody who knows who Fibber McGee is. Times 9.8 is equal to point. I mean, this is so small. <laughs> This is so small. Point, so you go to point zero six eight six newtons. That is small. That is a very, that is a tiny, tiny force. So I'm going to double check on. I'm going to come up with the coefficient of a hockey puck, uh, coefficient of kinetic friction, and we're done here. I got to take.